Weather Authority local weather forecast. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and just take a look outside at our RV World Yuma Sky Cam. It's beautiful out there, but we are seeing some cloud cover, but it's overall a really nice view and pretty pleasant out there, but I am tracking some scattered activity. So let's go ahead and bring up our radar so I can show you what I'm tracking as of right now. So a little bit of moments ago, we saw some storms starting to pop up, but for the most part, it's staying pretty clear for the lower deserts. Just a little bit of a small cell right there, but it's starting to continue to calm down and move to the west. So not a whole lot of activity right here in the lower deserts, but mainly staying up to the north. So keeping a close eye on that all throughout the afternoon and evening hours, but looking pretty light as of right now. Now here's a look at what I'm tracking because we are going to start to dry out. So a drying trend is really going to take over. We have lots of dry air starting to move in our area. So the main story for our, the rest of the week is going to be drier and also warmer. So I'll get to those warmer temperatures in just a second. But here's a look at our current temperatures as of right now. So over here in Yuma, pretty comfortable and seasonable, but a little bit warmer over in the valley. So we are going to have much warmer temperatures as we go into later this week. So just be, a, be aware of that. We are going to warm up and also too, it's Taco Tuesday today. So as the night approaches, we are going to be much calmer and clearer and we will see those winds just peak around five to 10 miles per hour. Nothing too, too gusty. We could experience a little bit stronger, but again, much calmer. And also those dew points will continue to linger in the 50s and 60s for the most part. But with that drier air, it's going to be a lot more comfortable. So it's not going to feel all that muggy due to the dry air. So that's something and a nice relief we'll have. And then those temperatures are going to drop into the upper night of uh, upper 70s. Excuse me. So a lot cooler for tonight and pretty enjoyable. Now in our air quality index presented by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Not looking too bad. We have a couple moderates, but mostly pretty good. So not a whole lot of concerns there. However, what I'm tracking for the upcoming days is we are going to start to warm up. So we do have a warming and drying trend, like I mentioned, and we are going to be a few degrees above our seasonal average. But come Thursday is what I'm really tracking that warm to really kick up. So we are going to see those temperatures peak near the triple digit mark, but not quite. But it'll still be a lot warmer for this time of year and also tracking some potential for some storms. So let's go ahead and take a look at our eight day forecast so I can show you and break down on what's to come. So those temperatures are definitely on the rise. So come Thursday, 98 degrees is what I'm tracking, but we'll be much clearer and see a lot of sunshine. However, as we go into the weekend, that's when we're going to have those changes. We are going to see breezy conditions and we are going to have some chance for some storms to roll in again, but those temperatures are really going to cool off. So as we have those storms start to roll in, we're going to cool off into the upper 80s. So that's a nice relief because we haven't seen 80 degree temperatures in quite some time and the Imperial Valley will have that warming trend in place as well with some storms on the way. Back to you, Scott. Thank you, Melissa. No triple digits in 